I would say it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of dedication. It's not something that is just going to happen, of course. But once you acquire certain um, certain skills in the game, that's when it can kind of be more about that one great game you have, if that makes sense. So, so you have to cross a barrier, and once you cross that barrier, that's when it's like, okay, any any time I play after this is when a big game is going to happen. I, I didn't think it would be this big of a game that I would have, but um, I knew that once once I started uh, getting over 14 million on Marathon, I knew that s somewhere along the line, uh, uh, I'm going to achieve a world record or something great at least. Now, there was a point that you started kind of playing pretty much weekly, uh, give or take a week here and there. and. It, was was that because you had finally reached a point where you knew you were getting close to the record and it was just a matter of time? You thought, you know what, if I just do this, I'm going to get it and I, I'm just going to knock it out. Yeah, yeah, that's part of it. The other part is marathon takes so long that I can only really play weekly, you know, or once every Sunday. I mean, it's just, it's a long game and um, it, it, it takes a toll on your body. I mean... A few days, once I start passing 14 million points, that's when the hand starts to cramp up and that's when the fatigue sets in. And um, the next couple of days after that, you're just, you know, I'm just dead. You know, I don't, I don't want to go near Galaga. Uh, so I got to wait a whole week. But yeah, you know, I did know when I was playing Galaga once a week after after achieving that 14 million bound or uh, 14 million uh, line, once I pass that. I was like, okay, this is going to happen. It's either going to be this Sunday, this Sunday, or this Sunday. Um, and uh, sure enough, it was it was uh, Sunday a few weeks ago. So it was fantastic. Now, you've recently created a Facebook group called Galaga Group. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us more about it and how it might affect or benefit the Galaga community? Sure. Um, Galaga Group is, is unique because it's not about... Uh, it's not about achieving high scores there. It's about bringing together a community and uh, focusing on celebrating the game Galaga. So I, what, what I love about it is a guy will post a score of 5 million points and then you get this other guy who scores uh, or who posts a score of, you know, 100,000 points and they're both celebrated because it doesn't matter. It's not, you know, it's, it's fun and it can be competitive, but in this group, it's just about celebrating Galaga, you know? Um, for example, unlike other places, I don't care if you're playing on a class of 81, a dedicated board, if you're playing on your NES, you know, Galaga, and you want to submit a score. We love that, you know. Um, we're not really reviewing scores there. We're just posting them and saying, look, everybody, check this out. You know, uh, let's celebrate Galaga and let's, let's find out some cool things, too. Galaga, I think Galaga Group is also going to be about um, finding cool things in the game like maybe we can come together as a group and find that golden ship you know what I mean or maybe we can learn other things about the game that people don't know that's kind of the focus on Galaga group not necessarily like oh okay uh, um, we're gonna get your video uh, and and analyze it and then say that you're the best or you're the fifth best in the world you know and there's nothing wrong with people that do that I'm just saying that that's a whole different that's a whole different world for us. In fact, I'll flat out say right now, if people send us a score, we're not gonna we're not gonna look at it and go, okay, um, um, this was wrong and this was wrong. You know, you post your score and we're gonna applaud you no matter what. That's that's kind of 
the idea of the group. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, yep, yeah, definitely. So, you know, bringing more people into the community and bringing more promoting but, it. But I do want to say this. I think what will be great is working together with Galaga Forum because what we can do then is we can we can say, hey, we got a few people here that are doing really well, and uh, they either want to submit scores or you know they want to know where to go for the next step. So we can pass those guys over to Galaga Forum, and then from there they can get the advice and they can get their scores put up. You know, because there could be a guy out there that can score five million points on Galaga, but the problem is is he doesn't have a dedicated board. So he's going, man. You know, I want to submit, and I'm really good, but I don't know what to do. Galaga Forum can be that 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 piece that connects together, where we say, or, or where they say, "Hey, um, there's a dedicated board out here in this area," or they could say, "You know what? Um, we can find something for you so that you can get these scores dedicated, so you can be recognized." Does that make sense? Yeah. Perfect. Now, now going back to your world records. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> sure. Now, now initially. Um, the marathon record stood for 29 years yeah. before Armando topped it. Sure. Um, the, the tournament settings record, I believe, was nine years, give or take. Sure. Now, those are fairly long standing. You came back just over a year later, took both in the in the, again as we mentioned in the very same game. Yeah. No, yeah. no less. <laughs> right. Um, that said. Uh, do you think Armando is capable of reclaiming either or both of those records? Uh, maybe, maybe which do you think would be more likely, or or neither? Um, Absolutely, uh, Armando could take back both those records if he wanted to. It's not a question of can he do it. Uh, I think that uh, I will be shocked if that tournament setting stands for a long time. I barely beat Armando's tournament, and he's he's a legend. So I mean. He, we've seen it before where somebody takes his score and he comes back and he comes back and gets it. So, you know, without a doubt, I know that he's capable of doing it and will probably succeed in doing it. Yeah, and, and, and of course, you know, we all know Armando, but are there any other players out there that you think are capable of that level of play and, and who might they be? Absolutely. Mike Thompson, of course. Mike Thompson had the world record for a little bit. Armando took it back. He is fully capable of getting up to that score, too. Again, with both these guys, Mike and Armando, it's not a question of, oh, can they get there? It's when do they want to take the time to play a game and, and make that happen? And that's the truth. I mean, there's no question. In fact, I will go out and say I, if, if Mike and Armando wanted to, they can get that marathon, too. I know that's a little further out, but um, it, it might take a little bit more to get there. But they are fully capable of getting to that to that score, you know, by you know th the way they play because they have the skills, no question. Now, now you'd probably agree with me. I'm, I'm guessing. Um, I think that you, Armando, and Mike Thompson are right now the players at that level. However, um, do you think that's a level attainable by other people? Uh, is there a way they could get there? Absolutely. Apps, there's others involved too. I'll give you a great example. Andrew Barra, if he ever wants to play a Galaga game, it in itself is a threat because it's like, you know, he doesn't play much Galaga anymore, but when he does, you know, he hits these huge scores and has the potential to, to go even further. Um, we have some up and coming people too uh, that, are, that are starting to show some really big scores. Uh, there's a guy named Jason who lives in Texas. He, uh, he's starting to play really well on, on uh, 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 five man and marathon. Uh, there's actually a 14 year old kid, his name is Philip, and he's doing like two million point scores on five man. And this is like every other game. So these are guys that are gonna start showing up here real soon as well. And, and the other thing is, is I, wanna, I wanna point out is I'm a great example of somebody within a year's time can catch up very quickly if they want to if you can learn and understand the game if you can if you can see where your mistakes are and and learn from that you can you can get there pretty quickly it doesn't take you know 10 years to get up to some of these scores so so let's take your example of philip you, sure. you know the two million point guy yeah um yeah. and there's a lot of other guys out there in that range or even a million point players or, or yeah. three even uh, what, what would you say they could do to get their game to that level? 
Well, I don't want to reveal all the secrets, but <laughs> but I will say one thing that really helped me to get to where I am is understanding where your mistakes are. Why are you dying? How How is it that you got cornered? Um, and how do I make it so I don't get cornered? That is a big tip. That is a big thing. Watching your games, understanding that, you know. And, <clears throat> you know, maybe some people don't want me to bring up this, this secret, but at the same time, I want people to jump up there and get big scores too, you know. I think it's great. And that said, um, let's let's say somewhere down the line, be it Armando or Mike or, or some other random person, uh, let's say one or both of your records do go down. Are you gonna are you gonna put the time in and retake them? Is this gonna be something that could be a, a competitive back and forth? Could it, do you see this turning into a like a like a kind of a, a battle kind of thing? So here's what I'm gonna say. If somebody beats those scores, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reach out to them and congratulate them and say, hey, isn't it great? Isn't it feel awesome to do this? You know, um, And then I, I might play games down the road, but what I like about my accomplishments that I did is if I don't ever play again, I can be known for being the first to get to 20 million. You know what I mean? I can be known to be the first to get two world records in one run. These are achievements that... I, I really don't have to play again if I don't want to. I can always be known as that. But at the same time, I love the game. You know, I'm always gonna you know pick the game up here and there. Um, if somebody beat that my scores, I might throw a game out there. But realistically, I might focus on other things as well. And I might say, you know what? Congratulations. I'm happy with what I did. It's time for me to move on and do some other games and stuff. And welcome to the club of being up there. You know, as as uh, uh, number one. Right here, this is a award that you get for getting over six million points on five lives. This Galaga Forum created this. It's called the Six Million Point Club. There's only five guys in the world that have done uh, uh, this award or received this award, if that makes sense. So uh, it's a pretty big deal. It's not something that uh, uh, a lot of people have hanging up on their wall. <laughs> and up next, this is gonna be when I went to Australia and competed out there. That is my picture, my pilot picture. Um, and we had to autograph a lot of these for people. And then we did, uh, 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 we got these cards too. And what's really cool is this one right here is autographed by everybody. But this one in the middle, they only made 12 of these cards. And so they, they, what they wanted to do was if you got over a million points in the game while you were there, you could obtain that card. And so only a few people got these cards out there, myself included. Um, and then they had a three card set for the event. And then this is the arcade Pencadia that, that, that hosted Gala Gala. So um, they have a cool card as well. Finally, hold on one second. <laughs> Finally, when I went out to Australia, um, the Gazette did a story for me. So um, they, they they did an amazing news article. And so I just have that frame from when I went out there and when they interviewed me. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, that's all it is really is the Gazette here and, and the article they did. Special shout out and thanks to my dad for putting all this together, of course. He framed all this stuff for me, so that's fantastic. I want to do a shout out, obviously, to Phil Day because he had called me to pull me into this whole community, which was fantastic. I want to do a shout out to Quarter Barrel for doing so much for me on all this. I mean, they're such great, it's such a great place, and, and uh, I absolutely love it. A shout out to the Galaga Forum. They helped get me to a certain point so I can continue moving on, which was fantastic. You know, you guys have always been great in talking to me and, and supporting me. Um, Big shout out to uh, uh, Noah, who is my friend who lent me the, the arcade cabinet, which is great. Um, boy, I don't know. There's, there's a ton of people. The Twitch arcade community is, is amazing. A big shout out to them. I mean, those guys are, are so much fun to hang out with on Twitch, talk to, watch them play games. They play games with me uh, or watch me play. I mean, 
Um, it's there. There. That's one of the best communities out there. Is the Twitch arcade community, in my opinion. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, big shout out to uh, uh, Australia Gala Gala Pinkadia. Fantastic. They were uh, uh, big supporters of me when I went out there. Um, they're awesome, of course. And uh, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't even have a list. There's a, there's so many people that help make this happen. You know, willing to uh, let me do what I need to do to be the best and and uh, become the world record holder. 